So what we'll do real quick, uh, continuing with our video here about the uh, six most common ones that we sell. I'm not going to actually depin them, just kind of explain it real quick because um, we have videos on each one going into further detail. So this is L42B2 that we talked about. So your front face, that's an actual lock, right? Whenever you see two different colors of plastic, so when you have your outer black and then your inner, usually that means that this front face is going to come up. On most connectors it will. If you don't have this, it might be one where it's the catch, the little hole to release it is actually built into the whole connector and we'll do some videos on those later to show y'all. But this one, L42B2, uh, to get the pins out basically, you would uh, remove your front face, the front lock, and you can do that with a pick tool. You can do it with a, a small flat head. So we use, you know, really small flat heads here. Uh, and we go even smaller than that. We go down to about a 1.0. But you would pop the face up and then you'll be able to, you can pop it up some, just a little bit, leave it on, and actually uh, use some of our D-pin tools out of our 23-piece uh, D-pin set to actually get it out, or you can remove it, all, remove the face all the way, and then uh, release them that way. The pins in here do have the uh, two pins that uh, actually grab, um, that, that flare out, the catches, uh, so they do hold on. You've got to have the uh, dual pin release tool. Uh, again, we do offer that in our 23-piece set. Um, because it's not just one catch on these terminals, it is two catches uh, that kick out, so it would stop you from uh, being able to uh, remove it otherwise. And again, we do have videos on L42B2 and explaining how to uh, depin, repin these if you want to check those out. Um, just like all of our connectors, our seals and wires, we always try to size everything a little bit bigger, so our seals, what our goal is, is once it's installed in the connector, we want it to kind of be pushed in there really tight, uh, especially on something like this one where it's not perfectly round, it's actually kind of a square shape. So if it was a smaller seal, it may feel tight, but your corners may have gaps. And what we want at the end of the day is if water was sitting on this, we don't want it penetrating through into the terminal and causing corrosion issues, things like that. So we like to size our seals a little bit bigger than what you would normally see and uh, make sure that these things seal up real tight uh, to keep you know any kind of moisture or even direct water. I mean, when you get an engine engine bay, a lot of times, uh, even a, a body shop, they will uh, detail the engine bay. We've actually had cars that have issues like that. And uh, so having those tight seals, if they happen to do that, detail it, spray it with water, it won't uh, penetrate into your connector. Our next one up, A81A4. We don't actually have a video yet on deep pinning this one. I will say that uh, this one is probably one of your harder ones. Um, the front lock comes off again when you see that two the two different colors right you have your black outer housing and you have your white inner lock uh, this white inner lock is going to come out i remove these all the way out with these you have to have about a 1.0 um, if anybody out there can deep pin these then you can probably come work here because these are incredibly hard to deep pin uh, once you kind of figure it out it's not too bad but uh, again we'll do another video one day showing these on how to deep pin them um, but they are very hard, so most people just end up uh, splicing these in uh, because it is so such a small little catch to uh, to get in there and release. You have to slide all the way back in, kind of lift up a little bit, and uh, and get it to come out. But we do the same thing on these. We do the thicker seals. These on this one are a little bit off. Probably can't see it from this angle, but uh, they're kind of pushed up because they do get a little tight as we put the wires in. But again, what our goal is, is any kind of moisture that uh, hits the back end of this connector, we, uh, we don't want it penetrating through. Uh, so we do a, as big of a seal as we can that will keep everything uh, sealed up from the weather. Next one, uh, D81B3. Uh, so this one that we've talked about, we've done a few videos deep pinning. Um, again, so you got your gray outer body, orange inner lock. Remove that orange lock. And then this one, we on our video, if you watch it, you do have to slide all the way down and kind of lift up pretty high to get the uh, release done uh, because the way, where it catches, the release is built into this connector. Um, but again, remove that front lock, use a little tiny flathead screwdriver, and you'll be able to uh, slide all the way down and lift up that catch and uh, release it. Again, our seals, everything we use is going to be a thicker seal, just so it'll seal up that connector just like the other ones. Y210B3. Same deal, right? So you've got your gray outer shell, white interface, so that's your secondary lock, right? And this one I'll kind of show you just what we've been talking about so you can kind of see. You just lift up, 
that pops up. For these, I just remove them all the way off, try not to shoot it across the room. And then just like the video uh, for these, you slide down to that catch, lift it up, and then you just remove your wires. Um, so all these that we've shown you have basically been this style. You have to remove that front lock, and then uh, the catches are built in to the connector, except for L42B2. That's the only one here today that uh, the catches are actually built into the terminals. Um, but this one, you slide down, release it, pull your pins out, same deal. Larger seal, make sure we get no water penetration, because uh, at the end of the day, we don't want to have any issues with uh, you know the parts that we're selling you. We want you to have peace of mind with your repair. So we'll put this back on real quick. You can always hear it when those locks lock down. Fifth one here, uh, L43A2. Uh, and uh, so this one is a little different. You'll notice it's one color on the front face. Uh, so this one, you actually slide down in. The catch is built into the body of the connector. So there's nothing to remove up front. You would just slide your uh, screwdriver down in there. It's going to have to be a real small jeweler screwdriver. We do sell those on the website in, a, I believe, a 12-piece set and a 16-piece uh, set. But uh, I might be wrong on that 12-piece. I think it's a little bit smaller. But we do have all that stuff listed in our tools. So with that little small screwdriver, you'll slide down in there. Uh, you do have to remove your rear lock first, which you'll find that out pretty quick if you don't. So a little bit different style. You don't have a front lock, you do have a rear lock. So once you remove that rear lock, and these are pretty easy to do, you just have to kind of lift up the catches on there and pop them up. And I can kind of show you real quick just so you get an idea. And sorry, doing this on camera is a little hard sometimes. So we'll lift up. I do side by side, right? Or we should say corner by corner. And so kind of lift up. I'm pushing as I'm lifting up. And then you'll see it'll just pop up right now. Come off. So you can pull off that rear lock. Then you can release your terminals. Same deal. Removing that rear lock shows you that this one is a sealed connector just like the other ones because this is for your fog lamps. It's going to be in the engine bay. So again, oversized seal, because you don't want water penetration to that connector. Put this lock back on and I'll show you the last one here today that we are talking about in our six most popular. So the last one here is uh, Z27C2. Um, and this one is, uh, again, kind of like the other, uh, other ones we've done here so far. Black outer casing, green uh, front lock. Again, Subarus, you may see brown outer casing, orange front lock, same connector, just different color setup. So you remove your, your green front lock, and uh, I'll kind of show you on this one since this is such a common one. So I kind of get under it here, just pop that up, we'll remove it all the way, and you can actually slide down, and we do have videos on this one also. This screwdriver's a little big, so I'm not going to actually remove them, but you'll slide down, lift up the catch, and pull that wire right out. Same deal as other ones, do the seals. We always try to go with a seal that's a little bit thicker, so that way it has a tight fit, won't let water through there. So that's basically it. That's uh, our six top connectors and uh, kind of an overview, just a quick explanation of uh, how they come apart. Again, we have videos on the website showing every single one here uh, and how to take it apart. Only one we haven't done yet, A81A4. Uh, this one, which we'll probably do pretty soon. Uh, the only reason why we haven't is because it is very hard to do, so most people haven't been able to, but I'll definitely show you all so you all can uh, practice with it.